All right, what we're going to do now is we are going to hop on over to the Windows machine and we're going to download Synergy and install it. So, here we go. Zoom out a little bit. That should be fine. Okay. I don't have a proper mouse pad, so my mouse gets a little bit jittery. Alrighty, so we are going to go set this up in a way that you can see because I don't really have the best recording space right now. Okay, we are going to go to Synergy Foss dot org slash download okay now under the windows section we are going to pick stable and I'm running a 64 bit uh, computer so I'm going to pick 64 bit if you're running 32 pick 32 and it's going to download I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to cancel it um, after okay, after you download it You're going to want to run the installer and install Synergy. Once Synergy is installed, you're going to open it up. Sorry, guys. Once Synergy is installed, you're going to open it up. And you're going to go to share this computer's keyboard and mouse, even though it's not going to be a server. I don't know why. This is the only way to configure what is on what side. Um, you're going to add okay. you're going to add each item, screen name, alias, try to make everything the same as your host name make it easier and then you just click OK and you do that for both systems and then you're just going to add it down here and you're going to put uh, right here, right of Isabella desktop goes to Isabella PC. So the right side of the Ubuntu goes to the left side of the Windows. And same uh, vice versa for the other one. And now we're going to get out of that setting. Go to advanced. If I can find my mouse. Make sure that the screen name for the Desktop is the same as the host name, makes everything easier down the line. Click OK. And now we're going to go up and click the radio box that says Use in Others Computers, Shared Keyboard and Mouse. And you're going to put the IP address that we used before from uh, your Ubuntu desktop. So you're just going to do if config in your terminal and get that IP address and put it in there. Now, once that's done, Gosh, so funny. A problem with this, all Fixing the tripod here. What a pain, I'm sorry. Alright. Okay.
Okay guys, so now we're gonna head over to Linux again, our Linux machine, and we're gonna go to the terminal. Okay, we're gonna go to the terminal on the Linux machine, and we are going to type the following to start the server. Synergy, S for server, space, minus F, minus minus config and now we're going to point to the path of the um of the configuration file so in this case it's home isabella just make it smaller isabella slash dot synergy dot config Press enter. I'm going to have all this information come up on the screen. Now we're going to go back to the windows. And right here we're going to type start. Click it. And it's just coming up with this because I'm already connected. Let me just kill the connection over here. Okay. Let's do that again. Alright. Uh, synergy S minus F space minus minus config and then path. Now it's running, and it shows that it's disconnected because I'm not on it right now. Okay, and now it's connected. Connects automatically once they're both running. So, as you can see, my mouse is here, and now my mouse is here. Where did it go? Alright, let me just show you. My mouse is here, and now uh, my mouse is here. So you can also use your keyboard function. We open up a new terminal window to demonstrate. My mouse is on my Ubuntu, so I'm typing on my Ubuntu. When my mouse comes over here, I can type it up over here. So that's just a quick little overview. I hope you guys found it useful. Um, I realize this isn't the best video, but I will post up um, a written tutorial of how to do this. Just one last thing I want to add before we go is, if you want, you can add a shortcuts like I did up here on my panel. You right click on the panel, click add to panel, and then I'm going to click create a new launcher. And then, where's my mouse? Okay. For the name, you can just put like Synergy Server. For the command, you're going to put the same command as you would on the terminal. So, Synergy as config home voila, Synergy and then the command, you can just put start server, click OK, and then you're done. And then to kill Synergy, you can create a new launcher. You put the name stop Synergy. Oh, I spelled that wrong, whatever. And here you can just put kill all Synergy S. And that's it. So, if this video was a little hard to follow, just, um, just read the written tutorial with the pictures, which will be like screen caps from the video. And hopefully this was beneficial to you guys and you can just use one keyboard, one mouse, and you won't have any difficulties of looking for tutorials on having an Ubuntu server and a Windows client with Synergy. Thanks for watching.